very easy, something realistic, but still very glam. I am no longer in school, but I definitely would always do my makeup in school, even if it was something soft, but I would make sure to make time. So if you have the time to beat your face a little bit, then, you know, go ahead and try this look out. I'm also doing a back to school giveaway at the end of this video, and I really promise you, you do not want to miss this. I really hope that you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for the end for the giveaway, of course. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already drew in my brows. For me, that takes the longest, you guys. I always had to make time for my brows when going to school because I was actually somebody that could not go with them because I have really spouse spouse I have really sparse brows so I actually look crazy different so if you have time to fill in your brows go ahead and do that if you have full brows though you don't have to worry about that you could just go in there and fill it in a little bit but for me girl I, I need to make all the time I can so now that I have my brows on I'm going to apply some primer I think primer is very important if you have the time to also moisturize I know it sounds like a lot of different routines but you know if you want your makeup to look nice throughout all those hours I think these steps are very important that's something I always do I did already moisturize my face. My moisturizer has been sitting for quite a while so now what I'm gonna do is apply the CoverGirl Skin Smoothing Primer. A lot of times, I'm not gonna lie, if I feel like my face already feels amazing just with my moisturizer, I will not go in with primer. But I think, you know, if you wanna take that extra step, go for it. I do not recommend though going in with a bare face. That is just... Wilden. I'm just applying this on my T-zone. You want to use a primer that's going to suit you. So make sure you're not using anything that's going to dry out your face or make your face more oily than it is. FYI, this primer smells like shampoo. You know, like that nice flower scent. Ugh, it just makes your face feel so fresh. Now moving on to foundation, I am taking the new Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. They come with 40 different shades, so that's amazing they sent me three different foundations the lightest one I have is Y325 and it's a little bit more tan than me but I think I'm able to make it work what I like to do with my foundations a lot is just go directly on the face like that it actually might be my skin so I'm going in with my beauty blender and just dabbing right in if you're somebody that does not have time to apply concealer you can honestly just apply more foundation underneath your eyes and that just kind of eliminates the next step but y'all know I gotta do that it kind of gives you that matte finish I used it yesterday and I was like okay pretty much what I'm doing right now is just going in with a smaller brush and going around my brows because girl honestly I'm not the one that just goes around Around like nothing because I will smear my brows off if you're able to do that without ruining them you're an actual legend and then once I have that done I go in the rest of the forehead okay I applied a little bit too much So this is basically how the under eyes would look if you did not use concealer. It's not the same, but better than nothing, you know? I am going to be applying concealer today because I am trying to do mostly every step. I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I like to use the color Vanilla. This is the actual chunky one. I know they have, like, the original one. I really recommend this one. It is huge, and it's the best concealer I've ever used. So we're just going to apply a little bit underneath the eyes. I'm not applying as much as I would usually for a really beat face. If I were to do that, that would take me like a full hour. So I'm going to apply this underneath the eyes as well as my eyelids. That way it's priming at the same time. I'm just taking this on the sides. I notice when you apply it on the side, it kind of snatches the nose at the same time. You see how it's like snatching the side of the nose? And then what I'm going to do is just take the rest of the concealer, which is really not a lot, and just apply this on the T-zone. That way it is nicely balanced. I'm going in with a Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Setting Powder. This is actually one of my favorite setting powders, but it is cracked. This powder is great because you can actually take it with you and you're able to retouch. So if y'all want to take this to school, I think they actually have this in Target Soap & Glory, or is that Walmart? I know it's like at a drugstore, which I think is very convenient because it is a bomb-ass powder. I have it really shattered though, but I'm still trying to get every use out of it. What I'm gonna do is just set my whole face with this, including my under eyes. Nobody got time to bake. Look how shattered this is.
All right, so what I'm gonna do is take the Rimmel Stay Matte Press Powder, and I'm actually gonna use this to kind of bake the face. So what I usually do with this powder is just kind of scrape it, and it creates literally a loose powder. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender, and you see how it literally grabs all the product? I'm going to bake with this and set the under eyes at the same time, and boom, you see that? I also like to use this powder for like the whole face, but I feel like a lot of times when it comes to just doing things quickly, like you don't got time to bake everything, you know? And I'm just gonna go might as well right on the eyelid and set that as well. Okay, I'm looking very baked to the gods right now. I'm trying to kind of do this quickly as if I were really like in a rush to school because I'm actually going right now to I think Six Flags and I'm low-key like actually in a rush. So I like that we're really um, connecting in a way. Okay, so now I'm going to bronze the face. This is a Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. And what I'm gonna do with this color is just go in and give my face a little bit more life. It's looking a little flat right now and I'm just using this like big fluffy brush for this I'm also going in the forehead this is going to shrink up the forehead a little bit if your forehead's a little big I actually don't even think I ever like bronze my face in high school I think I discovered that after and it's just shocking that I wouldn't do this I'm gonna snatch that jaw a little bit just to give some dimension I feel like literally with foundation it could make your face look so flat you just gotta bring your face shape back to life you know and I'm just going to snatch the nose a little bit usually when I'm in a rush I use the same brush that I use for my face just fold it in a little bit and boom snatch that nose I'm using just a smaller one today but girl it's very possible with that big old brush now what I'm gonna do is just carve out right under I brought that bronzer down too low these little steps like this are things you could probably even do in the car if you're not driving I'm not applying any eyeshadow so with that same bronzer I'm just going to apply this right on my crease and this is just gonna give your eyes a little bit more dimension but not applying actual shadow you know this is just going to not make it look so flat boom I think if I just literally do not apply anything I look really funny so just applying a little bit of bronzer on the crease really just makes it seem like you have something super subtle but yet so natural do you see that it's like a natural contour on your eyes you don't want to leave it on there too long because then it literally starts to like cling now I'm going in with a Tarte Fearless brush it's just an everyday blush it has a little bit of iridescence in it. We're just gonna pop the smallest amount. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the MAC Patrick Star Hot and Heavy Face Powder. And this is actually kind of like a highlighter, but I like to use this as a bronzer. Actually, I don't know the exact use it's supposed to be for, but I like to use this basically all over my cheeks, and it just gives me a really nice glow, kind of applying this literally above the blush. It gives me more of a bronzy glow instead of just a highlighter, so I like to apply this right above my cheeks. And just a little bit like on the forehead. It's just giving you like the softest glow, nothing intense. So now moving on to mascara, I am going to actually curl my lashes because if I do not wear lashes and I just put mascara, my lashes look tiny. So I feel like sometimes curling it can make the biggest difference. I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast and just go in there and coat. And now moving on to lips, I'm going in with a Makeup Forever lip liner and this is in the color Limitless Brown. It's very dark, you could use a lighter one, but I like to give my lips um, a lot of definition. Now what I'm going to do is take the CoverGirl Queen Major Shade Collection Lipstick in the color Insider. It's just a really nice everyday mauve. You could leave it like this, but I'm going to tone it down a little bit with the MAC Patrick Star Fashion Punch Lip Glass. I love me some gloss either way, but my lips are looking a little dark. So I already went ahead and changed. Now the last step that I'm gonna do is apply false lashes. This is not necessary. A lot of times I wouldn't do this in school, but if you have the extra time, then go for it, girl. So this is the difference from lashes. To me, it is very dramatic, and I actually live for lashes like this. Lashes are not for everybody, but for me, I just think they look bomb as hell. These are by Temp Makeup in the style Glamazon, and I am just living. So that pretty much completes this back to 
to school makeup look. It is very simple, such a soft look, but I think super, super glam. So now time for the back to school giveaway. I'm so excited. If you're not in school, do not worry. Try to win this for your sister, your niece, your granddaughter. I mean, you name it. If you know somebody that, you know, really needs this, then go ahead and enter. It is such an amazing giveaway. I cannot wait to show you everything. Everything I got for this giveaway were items that I would personally choose for myself if I was going back to school. I went to Target the other day and I was honestly shook. They had so many cute freaking things. A lot of supplies. I mean, really, I went ham and it's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to show you everything because it is so many items. But what I will do is take a picture of everything and post it on my Instagram. My Instagram is Myra Tichet Glam and you will get to see all of the goodies laid out that you will possibly be winning. Before I start showing you everything, I'm going to let you know the rules first. So obviously the first thing you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel. I am giving this away to my friends, to my followers. Sometimes people think like, wow, I have to be subscribed to you just for the giveaway. But I mean, obviously I'm giving this away to my supporters. Personally for me, the easiest way to get in contact is through Instagram. So if you could leave your Instagram handle in the comments down below and let me know in that same comment why you want to win this giveaway and I will be contacting the winner through there. You do not need to follow me on Instagram, but it is an extra bonus. I'm going to have the rest of the rules down in the description box in case I miss anything. I'm going to put there when it ends and everything like that. So before you click out of this video, please click the description box. That way you guys know exactly everything for this giveaway. So without further ado, you guys, uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the goodies. Like I said, I'm not showing you guys everything because it's a lot, but I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek. This is pretty much where all of your goodies are at. Look at all these amazing things. Like so many things, guys. I gave you pretty much everything that you would possibly need, at least for like someone in high school. I didn't include scissors and stuff because I know certain schools have different policies, but I made sure to include really everything that you would need and some extra things that are just like that you don't really, really need, but I just wanted to throw in there. And of course, I did get you a backpack. I got this really cute backpack. I got everything at Target, by the way, so just in case you're like curious, this is it right here. It's kind of like a mauve. It is just the cutest thing ever, so this is the backpack right here. The color is amazing, texture, everything. Not everything that I got you guys will fit in the backpack. That's how much I went ham. I did get you guys some binders. I got you a white binder. I also got this metallic binder. I I thought this metallic binder was iconic. I threw in some dividers because dividers are very necessary. I also threw in some ruled paper because I think this is very necessary for math. Also some regular college ruled paper. This is very necessary for school. Obviously this is like actually the most important thing. This keeps falling out the box so I might as well show you. I wanted to throw in these really cute looking glittery pink pencils. I wanted to throw in some really cute notebooks so I'm throwing this really sparkly one. I think this is so freaking cute. And and then I also wanted to throw this one in. It says fearless female and it has some eyeballs with lashes on it. This is so cute, so girly. And I feel like with all these products, you're going to be that bitch in school. Just saying. I threw in this really cute, I guess, holographic looking, what is this? Pencil bag? Pencil? What is this called? Pencil pouch? Isn't that so freaking cute? I threw in a weekly calendar. I think I just threw in a lot of things that I personally would think would be beneficial because I don't remember having a calendar in high school. But I think just having something really cute like this will really help you stay organized and do your homework and all that. I'm just trying to help a girl out, you know what I mean? So I thought this was really cute. You know when things are cute, they just for some reason you just want to use them. I think in elementary school that's when they give you calendars and they show you like your lunch and stuff. Do you guys remember that? Do they still do that? Since the other notebooks were a little bit extra, I just decided to throw in a pink and purple one, you know, more basic. I also got you guys this little water bottle thing. You're able to put coffee in there, I mean pretty much anything. hot or warm, hot or warm, hot or cold. I think I would do coffee, honestly. Um, or maybe water and the lid feels like very what, What's the word not velvety? You know what I mean when it just has like a really nice texture and the color is just absolutely everything I got you guys some color pencils. I wanted to get really cute colors. I also got you guys the LEDs I even got you guys a dry shampoo, deodorant. I got you guys a hand sanitizer because I think this is actually very important and not a lot of people carry things like this, especially in school, girl. You gotta make sure you get like no germs and stuff. I got you guys a lip balm. This is by EOS. It's like a clear looking 
lip balm literally it's so cool I extra spoiled you guys I want to just do a lot I even got you guys some really cute erasers literally like a watermelon pineapple a little flamingo in there this is pretty much the rest of the stuff in here like I said I'm gonna have all of that in one picture for you guys to check out on my Instagram so it should be up by now. Go ahead and head out to my Instagram, Amira Touch Glam, and see all of the items that you will be winning for this giveaway. Honestly, before I always pick a winner, I always pray and hope that I'm giving this away to someone that really needs it. And I just, I really, really hope whoever wins this is super, super happy, of course. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching.